Good afternoon and welcome to Sports Federation TV. I'm Elton Davids. I'm your host. And tonight we've got an exciting lineup. We're chatting sport, fitness and aerobics and fencing. I'm joined in the studio by two people who are wearing strange colours, I would assume. Mazan, how are you? I'm good in you. Good, good. Adley, you well? I'm good, man. Thanks. Good, good. Fitness, sport and aerobics, Mazan, what is that all about? Uh, wow, we have so many uh, factors in, in, in our competition. It's, it's actually a real for all type of competition. Um, we've got from uh, fitness aerobics from beginner level to um, groups to individuals. Um, we've got a category which also hip hop for. So we, we cater for, you know, people that want to do more in a sport aerobic fitness uh, direction and also more of the dancers that go into the, into the hip hop direction. Okay, so, so it's, it's a, a wide variety of... Very wide very wide okay interesting Hadley what is mm. your involvement in all of this uh, well I'm an athlete so African athlete uh, so I'm in a team with Mazan uh, she coaches and choreographs the routine for that for that team and yeah um, I've been in this I've been in here for about five years now with the, with the Federation and um, really growing as a dancer growing as a person I mean I can tell you now I wasn't the little boy I was <laughs> five years ago <laughs> Okay. So really growing as a person and yeah, enjoying it. But now here's a question. Mm. You talk about aerobics. Is it not just for ladies? No, no, no. We've got two categories. Uh, oh, okay. but, but but we've got men in the aerobic category as well. Mm. So you do have male male categories. Um, but he's in the he's in the hip hop ca uh, side. Um, so obviously with the hip hop side, you've got from male, female, mixed groups. Um, so it's definitely for all. And also with the aerobic side, we have male competing. Not so much in South Africa, we're working on that, we're getting there. Um, but internationally, there's, there's loads. Because one would, be, one would assume that with aerobics, it's generally perceived to be a woman's sport. Yes, mm. in the gym. <laughs> in the gym, okay, yeah. that's the yeah. difference. Yeah, <laughs> but we're not the same as, as the gym. Okay, so explain the difference to me then. Okay, so we, um, Obviously, we have to put a routine together. Um, it's two minutes long, which sounds very short for most people, but it's high, high impact. So two minutes is, is a tough one. And there's a lot of moves that you can, can do in two minutes. Um, you have to run around. Um, well, not run, really. You hop around like with aerobic yep. moves uh, across the floor. Um, and you have skills that you do, like push-ups, uh, splits, jumps into splits, um, holds, presses, things like that. So it's really quite advanced. Um, there's a lot of criteria that you have to follow. So it's really, really high, high level of fitness and strength, core stability, uh, flexibility, things like that. So that's, it's quite, uh, and, and you have to have coordination because it's dancing moves as well. And it has to be on music. Um, so there's quite a few things that you will have to do. To I think that's to where you've anymore. lost me and where you lo will lose a lot of guys is the coordination. <laughs> <laughs> the two link could be in this, as I say. I'm just, I'm just some, asking that. Guys that uh, have coordination. Uh, Adley must be one of them. He's got it. Is it colors? <laughs> yeah, but for hip hop, though. Not oh, 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 not okay. the aerobic hip -hop. side. Okay, no, we'll explore the hip hop a bit in, <laughs> yes. a, in a bit at least. <laughs> yeah. So, so tell me a bit about this uh, this, aerob this aerobic. So you've got a, a two minute routine, set music for everybody in the no. competition. No, 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 no. You have to have you have set you have um, categories where it is set routines. Right. Um, that's more the beginner categories because um, when we have athletes um, that you know we have uh, aerobic category which is for more beginners um, we have that a lot in the schools um, so we try to get teachers involved and it's difficult for teachers because they d they are not qualified to yeah. to choreograph a routine from scratch um, so they get set music set routine um, and things like that so they get judged on execution um, who was the fittest um, who was the most synchronized um, stage personality things like that so we'll come to you Let's check out what sports fitness aerobics is really all about. Let's check this out.
I'm quite tired just uh, watching that. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's like so much energy. And I see that the guys that are there from what age? What's the youngest person, Ms. Uh The youngest is uh, seven. Uh, that, that can compete, um, not all the way to nationals, but they can compete in the Western Province, um, you know, Western Cape Province Championships. Um, so yeah, that is quite tiny, uh, but they're entertaining that age. Absolutely. <laughs> I mean, I was there at that champs in, in, uh, at the Good Up Centre last year and it was lots of action, lots of fun. Parents there supporting, yeah. that place was packed. Yeah. Is that what the competition's all about on a, on a normal scale? Yeah, always, always. I mean, you, like I said, you've got so many different categories and I forgot previously to mention we've got solo, we've got the battles as yep. you could see. Um, so you, could in, you can enter in individuals in the sport aerobics or a team or three or, a, you know, in hip hop you can do a team um, of five to eight in a group where you can do the big teams as you saw. Um, and then obviously the solo battles. So there's so much things and it's so busy and it's just so exciting and it's always energy and it's parents screaming and going crazy my child and it's, it's yeah. <laughs> yeah you know so <laughs> Adli, tell me a bit about hip-hop because now we've spoken a bit about the aerobic yeah. side the hip-hop how does that how does that work similar to the aerobic side uh no the hip-hop is a bit more well i will classify it more free but hip-hop does have its its criteria uh, not as strict as uh, with the aerobic side but the hip-hop side is very free the hip-hop side is is you know you bring your originality your creativity i mean uh we every year aim to you know come with a bang and you know we we excite and we entertain and you know but the, with the criteria we also have to keep in mind you know our synchronization technique our skill and all that stuff so it's quite exciting stuff yeah so, so how, how long in advance do you prepare for the for competition uh well our competitions normally run uh, our western province western cape championships normally run in uh, may so we start in January already, you know, we have auditions in December, we settle who's going to be the team for the next year. And January we start off and yeah, start preparing and, you know, doing the best we can. We, we prepare months ahead uh, with Mazan. Um, you just have to showcase variety of styles and variety of, of uh, ability and technique. So yeah. there's not really like rules in the sense of you cannot do this and you cannot do that. Um, so you do really have freedom. So it's actually you as a choreographer or coach can really actually really and, 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 and also what fits with the crew because you know that also is very important that you have to uh, sort of showcase what, yeah. what you are about. Yep. Um, uh, and I think it's about who executes it the best yeah. at the end of the day. You sell to the base. <laughs> and who does the best on stage? Yeah. Let's take a short ad break. Let's see what else is on stage. We'll see you now. <laughs> this is Sports Federation TV. We're chatting sports, fitness and aerobics. I'm joined in the studio by Mazan and Hadley. So you were telling me that uh, hip-hop is like a fun thing for you. Mm. But now that you've got the rules, it changes the game. Yeah, not necessarily because, you know, uh, it is free still because uh, hip-hop is, is something that I do enjoy and love in all forms, whether it be uh, with the rules and the regulations and also whether it be when I'm just enjoying a battle, you know, a cypher, doing whatever I love. So it's, it's, it's quite fun for me still. Yeah. What's a battle? What's a cypher? This is all like strange uh, terms <laughs> to me, guy. No, you get different battles of different styles. Uh, I specialize in popping. So uh, battle would normally be like, you know, you come up, you, you do your thing, you battle the, the other guy. Okay, and, so it's uh, a dual one-on-one. -on -one. It's a one-on-one. -on -one. Okay. You, you get two-on-twos, you get lots of stuff, you get crew battles as well. Okay. Uh, but yeah, what I specialize in was the one-on-one -on -one, uh, battling, so, you know, normally I will come out the victor. Is, uh, normally? <laughs> normally. Is that why you got that colors? How did you, ma what was it like to get uh, SA colors? Uh, wow. Can't explain it. I mean, uh, first Western Province Championships, uh, we... No, but that was a few years ago. Uh, yeah, it was yeah. a few years ago, but we saw the competition and we were like, these guys are good, you know, but, you know, you don't really know how good you are until you see yourself in someone else's eyes. And we ended up winning that one, and was, it was emotional for me. Uh, my first championships, my first time dancing with the crew. Uh, and then from there on, we went to the national championships as well. Won there as well, and that's where I uh, officially uh, was recognized to get my, uh, my colors. Uh, as a team or as an individual? As a team. Okay, so yeah. the whole team then wins. Yeah, yes. at, at that stage there was okay. no uh, solo category. Okay. Um, but yeah, as a team, I got this is where I got my colors from with the team. Okay. So yeah, quite privileged. 
Young lady, tell us a bit about the general administration of sports fitness aerobics. Are there clubs around or how does, how does, how does all of this work? We have a lot of clubs um, from, obviously we now in Western Cape, I mean we have a lot of clubs in Western Cape. Um, we have clubs at Oatshorn in George in Nossa Bay, also obviously Winchateng, Limpopo, so we, we're quite nationwide. Um, I, I think, again, we, we're touching so many categories, so it's, it's, you know, we have really quite a lot of areas that we can touch. And it's always, you know, I always say we only need music. We don't need mm. a, a field or a this or a that. So you just need a, something that can play music and then you're okay. Um, so yeah, we're quite nicely spread um, and we have quite a few events that happen a year. We've had like a trainer trainer workshop where new uh, people that's interested to be trainers can be trained up. Um, we had one in uh, Kairos at Kairos Primary School in Delft in February and then we had a, um, a normal coaches workshop yep. that we have every year that was in Belleville I think just the other day. Mm. Um, and then we actually had a new event that we had uh, 14th of March, he actually judged a little yeah. bit for us there, uh, open hip hop uh, championships uh, in Mitchell's Plain, uh, which went very well. Um, so yeah, and we've got Western Cape championships coming up in I think Mitchell's 9th and 10th of May. Yeah. Um, okay. And then, which is this uh, Western, Pro Western Cape Sports School. Yep. Uh, mm. So it's just around the corner here. And then uh, also the national championships is the 26th to 28th of June, also a year local. So it's, it's very exciting, lots of things. And then we've got World Champs in, in December. Normally it's in October, but this, this year's in December. Um, is in that a, this year? Seeing everything's no, in Cape Town it's now. not here, unfortunately, hopefully soon, but that's in uh, St. Martinique, so that's in the okay. Caribbean. So a little nice bit hot holiday. for dancing, but it's a nice <laughs> venue holiday. though. Yeah. But it's a little bit hot for dancing, but it's cool. It's yeah. nice, yeah. So, so, so clubs are based in studios or where yes, they are? So you, well? yeah, uh, people have different terminology for it. Either they call themselves a club or they call themselves a studio. Um, if you want to compete, you have to affiliate um, to the federation. Uh, you have to uh, submit an affiliation form and also your constitution and, and all of those things, uh, your committee and, and, and the, that stuff. Um, and then, yeah, you uh, enter. We don't have the, the entries are normally in April because our competition is in May. Um, so yeah, so then from there, obviously that's the first leg is in May and then the next is national championships, which you obviously have to obtain certain scores to be able to qualify for the next leg. And there's three criteria to, uh, to qualify? Yes, we have judges, scores. we have yeah. judges, qualified judges, they do exams and all of those things um, and they then obviously do the judging of, of the different categories, uh, put them into ranking, uh, put them into scores and then if you know, the team is, has a certain score, they go to the next, oh. in the next championships. Okay, sounds like yeah. fun. Hmm. Hadley, are, are you studying, you finished school, what's your uh, current yeah, status? I, I, I'm at the moment uh, I'm employed at uh, Cape Town Film Studios. Uh, I studied uh, uh, two years ago, I finished my studies and then I got into an internship and now I'm employed at Cape Town Film Studios, yeah. Do the people at work think you're crazy to be doing this? <laughs> <laughs> Let's ask that question. <laughs> No, no, they, they, they're quite supportive. I mean, they're quite surprised because they, when I started at my internship there, I mean, six months into it, they didn't really know I could dance. I mean, <laughs> well, that's why I'm asking the question. <laughs> yeah, no, they, 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 uh, they, quite, they were quite surprised, but they're quite supportive. You have to, uh, it's, uh, it's high impact, so you have to be fit. So it promotes health and fitness because you can't be lazy. You have to work on your fitness, and you have to do a bit of running and jumping jacks and push-ups and things like that. Um, and you have to remember choreography. So it's actually, again, it's a two-minute routine as well. So it, it, it is the same scenario as, as the, the more difficult catch fees. Yeah, you just get the routine. And it's a more on a beginner level. It's not that advanced, um, complex moves. Absolutely. Hadley, would mm -hmm. you say that you're a hero? Would you say that people look up to you? Uh, or as a role model? Let's put it that way. I mean, yeah, in a way, yeah. I never used to believe it uh, because I was just thinking of myself, I'm just this average guy doing, you know, what, what I love and what I'm passionate about. But yeah, um, I've, I have, you know, got people that, you know, they'll just come up to me and, and start a conversation and be like, you know what, I, I am so... <laughs> no, seriously. They'll just start up and have a conversation with me. You know, they're like, yo, you're doing big things. And, and we always, you know, like wanted to be in your shoes. And we always like wanting me. I'm like, yeah, you, you know, you can do it. I mean, it, it's, it's all about the dream and, and wanting the dream and what you're going to do to get to, to achieve it. So yeah, I do think that like not a lot. I'm not a hero. Uh, but I think but with the younger ones, the yeah, younger maybe, kids, yeah. they look up to, you know, the... Uh, the, the older the ones, yeah. the big the man older in, the, ones. In, the, in, the, in the SA kit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the, the kid speaks for itself, yeah, I think so. 
Do, as, as, is that the power of sport in your life? W what would you say has made sport, how has sport changed your life? Let's put it that way. You know, the, the sport has, has really impacted on me a lot uh, for me growing up. I mean, I started out in the sport when I was uh, 19. So really making me into a person that, you know, a man, if I can say that. I'm not yet a man. <laughs> But yeah, giving me confidence. I mean, I was never able to, to just go out there and, and go for what I want. I mean, this really gave me confidence to, you know, do what I want and, you know, get a, go study. I was never really comfortable with myself to know that I can do this, get good grades, go study and get a job one day. And honestly, the sport has given me something to, to build up my confidence and to boost that, yeah. Absolutely, that's exciting. As a coach, how did that make you feel? Uh, the best. I, I always say, for me, it's uh, we play a very important role in in in, in, in dan well in an athlete's life. Mm. Um, for me, if you walk, I always say, if you walk away a better dancer or a better athlete, amazing. If you've achieved Western Cape, Western Province colours, amazing. Pretia colours, the same thing. It's the most uh, uh, it's most honourable thing that yeah. you can experience. But if you walk away a person that you learned not to quit, to work together with a team, mm. work to, to uh, you know, when things are tough, believe in yourself. If you walk away and you've learned that, then oh, then I, I'm very happy. Yeah, that's for me also mm. a big plus point. Yeah. <laughs> Amazing. And learn to be on time. <laughs> well, that's what sport teaches you. Yeah. Sport yeah. teaches you discipline, commitment, <laughs> and dedication. Yeah. yeah. And without that, you're not going to get anywhere. No. Mm. True. How do people find out more about your sport? Um, well, I mean, we're on Facebook, um, so they can find us there. Um, we also have a website. I don't have the website address now. I think it's www.sasif.co.za. Um, and then, yeah, they can just email the Western Province uh, Secretary, uh, Estelle Swart. I think her email is Estelle Swart uh, at telcomsa.net. Yeah. Yeah. So they can just email and, yeah, find us Facebook website. Yeah. And come check it with us. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> Guys, thank you for your time. We'll come thank you so much. Thank you check so out much. your champs in May. Yes, come yes, check yes, it out. Yes. Definitely, we'll be there. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank Let's you. Let's take a short ad break. We'll see you now.